Okay, we are now in the last module of Admin Advanced Trail. Congratulations, you have made thus far. Okay, let's talk about multiple currency. So say you got a job managing a Salesforce org for a huge organizations and you need to set up multiple currencies on these organizations say for example you work with tesla tesla sell cars all over the world right so for example if we go to the website tesla.com here if i want to custom order the model 3 this is our canadian price it's in canadian dollars right because the website detected that i am in canada but ooh, we have some incentives here right five thousand bucks off pretty cool now if i change this say oh i want to buy tesla in well i can't read other other languages than English for now. So let's stick with the North America. Say I'm going to choose United States, right? And now the price changes in United States dollar. So let's say you work for Tesla and let's say Tesla uses Salesforce. Actually, I think they are using Salesforce, but I'm not sure if they are still using Salesforce or not. But let's Google it. Is Tesla using salesforce or not force.com platform i think i i saw an ad of tesla using salesforce on one of the dreamforce conference but yeah have used salesforce to record information about their interaction with customers and potential customers okay let's just make it an example right so this is multiple currency situation say if i change to mexico it will have its own whoa seven hundred and ninety eight thousand what is this uh, what is that currency pesos or something i forgot um yeah or if i change this to say italia where they sell Ferrari and Lamborghini and stuff like this is 49,000 euro. So you get what I mean, right? This is multiple currency. So now we want to enable multiple currency. Uh, let's say for Tesla, we are pretending that we are managing Tesla's Salesforce org and we pretend that Tesla is using Salesforce. So I'm going to launch my hands on org and launch my ad admin advanced playground and go through the steps here because we don't have a hands-on challenge let's go through the steps that are being discussed over here first we want to enable and apply multiple currencies so that would be on company information under setup let's go ahead and do that gear icon setup and i'm going to type company information and activate multiple currency so let's see activate multiple currency here i'm going to hit edit and actually activate multiple currency once you activate it you cannot deactivate it this feature cannot be turned off so if you're working on a real org, <laughs> make sure this is like a launch button. You cannot reverse it, all right? So if you're working on a real organization, make sure your management, your directors know this is going to be activated as you press the save button. Boom. Okay, now it is activated and you cannot cancel it or change your mind. 
So keep that in mind. Once you activate it, it's there forever. Okay, activate multiple currencies. So once multiple currencies is enabled, you also activate additional currencies and potential op optionally select a new corporate currency. Ensures users have the correct personal currencies. Make sure users use the correct currency when creating records. So when they create opportunities, make sure they are on their own co correct currencies. So now we want to activate currencies. So company information, click the currency setup button. The active and inactive currencies will be listed out. So if I go back to company information here, scroll down and let's see where is our currencies. Here, currency setup. Well, we are in Canadian dollar, so we can um, add some more currencies. Let's add US dollar. Currency type is USD. All right. Conversion rate. Well, I don't know. So let's do USCAD to USD conversion rate. 0 0.77, which is a good number. So I'm going to go back here. Enter the conversion rate from your corporate currency to this new currency. Um, yeah, 0 0.77. So one Canadian dollar will only buy 77 cents of US dollars. All right. And hit save. So that's how you add new currency. And then you can make which one is your corporate currency by clicking change corporate currency there. All right. Let's go back to our trail. So we have um, added one new currency, which is US dollar. We just did that. And you can activate it and deactivate and select it as a new corporate currency if you want to. So you can also update conversion rates. So from companies, uh, from setup, company information, and then, and then you can, in, in the active currencies or inactive currencies, you can edit the rates like we just did, right? So for example, the rate changes and then you want to edit the rate on here. You can just change, oops, um, not that part. I don't think if we go back to here and currency setup, edit rates there. So if you have a few, you can just edit it on the same place, right? So. That's where you edit the rates. Now, implement advanced currency management. So what is advanced currency management? So for example, you have a deal or an opportunity or a sale that was made on January 1st, right? And, and the currency was this much. And then you have another sale or deal that was made on February 5th, which has a different rate. So you don't want to use the same rate for different periods because the actual exchange rate changes every day, I would say, right? So you would want to activate um, the, the, you want to enable the advanced currency management to handle that kind of situation. So to do that, I am going back to company information here and then currency setup, enable this. Advanced currency management. So yes, it has a warning. Boom. So you now can set this up. Manage dated exchange rate. To manage dated exchange rate for your organization, click this button. Dated exchange rates are used in opportunities, opportunity products, and opportunity reports. Let me just close this ad here. Okay, um, let's do that. If you want, don't show this page again. Continue. So, new exchange rate, right? But on what time? Like if we add another one. I just click there. So this is 6.22 p.m., right? So for example, it changes now. Started or maybe we want to change the date, you know, not that date. Maybe tomorrow, 
it's gonna be you know let's think 79 tomorrow I'm being a prophet here <laughs> so that's how you set the dated exchange rate so um, yeah that's how you uh, how you set it up all right so if you go back here you can also add personal currencies okay that's for your own user what you want to use when you create opportunities when you add products onto your opportunities what kind of currency will be used depends on your own profile here so um on your own salesforce profile click here and here on settings and then let's i think it's on uh, personal information let's check because i don't use it too much it's on language and time zone all right language and time zone personal information language and time zone and here you can change the currency here so for example i want mine to be us dollar this means whenever i create a new opportunity a new deal close a deal at products it will always be in us dollar because this is my personal preference so i'll change it back since i'm in canada okay that's about it and we are done here so let's do the quiz so what must you do before adding new currencies to your company settings well you have to activate it it's it has a hint these blue lines here <laughs> your orcs corporate currencies is the same whether you use single or multi currency setup can only yeah there enabling advanced currency management enables your org to yep manage dated exchange rate which we just tried with multi currency setup and currencies added to your company settings users can select personal currency on their um, profile right so let's do and check our final points whoa we've got a shiny badge congratulations you have completed the admin advanced trail so my plan after this is to create a series of videos on on admin certification exercises questions so we are going to go through a bunch of questions together and uh, dissect and divide all kinds of um, topics to prepare you for the salesforce admin certification and and then the next one is um, advanced admin certification i'll see you on those um, new videos coming up soon congratulations you've done so far you're gonna do great and i bet you are going to make a big difference in your own life and in the life of others you help hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom <laughs>